morning. So we're cleaning up some twine around here and we need to go get some hay. So we're getting ready, the trailer ready to do that. Seven bales that I'll unload off of there. And I still have a, a bum husband, so <laughs> I get that duty today. And um, we're gonna go head out to the hay barn. It's about 15 miles away. And we'll load up some three strand alfalfa bales with the lift and strap it down and come home. So that's the plan for this morning. Huh. Calves are all excited. Henson gets mad if you just throw the bales like anywhere. So they have to be stacked nicely, huh babe? Well, why would you just throw it anywhere? Yeah, you gotta stack it up. You gotta make it nice. That's right. You gotta make it nice even though it's just gonna turn into crap. Frozen? Yeah. All right, there's your little stack. <laughs> hey. Did you throw one off on that side? Yeah. Top one, I just threw it off. Why? Because. You're going to feed it anyway? Yeah. Okay, let's go get some hay. Just kidding. We got to oh. air up tires. Air up a couple tires and change one? Yeah, I'm going to change one. Or you're going to change one. <laughs> okay. It's never just that easy around here. You can't just hook up a trailer and go. You got to air up three, change one. Find the tire that you're gonna put on. Yeah. <laughs> what was I thinking that we're just gonna go get hay? Ugh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> Funny. It made it. <laughs> Danielle can't get them off, they're too tight. This is futile. Did you try that one already? Try the ones you haven't tried. Stand up. What, is it gonna make the other ones looser for me? No, but I mean, <laughs> just get the ones you can get and then I'll go get a bar. <sighs> I'll stand on it, but it's not gonna work me standing on it. I'm only 120 pounds. <clears throat> Nothing, dude. I think I've tried like six of them. <laughs> Alright, hold up. I'll get a bar. Okay. Remember which one it was? No! <laughs> yep, yeah, that's right. Okay. Cheater bar. Oh, geez, the tire's just gonna turn. <laughs> okay. Now they might keep up here. You come over here, push them. Pick this computer board. <laughs> Jeez, the tire went too. Okay. Well, let you need me... a block? Uh... No, no. Let me pull up so it's mom. So it's even flatter on the ground. Okay. <laughs> Maybe.
Yeah, he's rookie, dude. Good. Alright, now do all eight of them. That was one. Yeah. <laughs> Seven more to do. Okay. Okay. Damn, who the hell put those on? Tire shop. That one didn't even move at all. Lift it. Uh, yeah. Had to get a bigger, heavier, longer, cheap bar. I tried this one before, it wouldn't budge, so. Lug nut off. Lug nuts. I had to take off my uh, wild rag because. Got hot? Yeah. I'm gonna have to get your uh, jacket off here in a bit too. Yeah. Today's supposed to be like 58 degrees. It's been cold for a while. And you only got to spare. It's not really much better. This is a this is a racing tire. This yeah. is Henson Wynn and Jerry Wynn tire. That's, we <laughs> ride it out till it's no good like that one. Okay, you want to back up for me? Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna back up so we can raise the trailer up back up on that block. I should raise it up enough. Okay. Right. Yeah, I'll be waiting. Yeah. Yeah, kind of? Yeah. Okay. Didn't yell to make fun of the tire, but we actually ain't even going that far down the road. <coughs> All we're going to do is go down the road, throw some hay on the trailer. I laugh about the trailer. got some bunch of holes in it, but we're just putting hay on here and bringing it back here. And then it'll sit till we want more hay. Just, no, use the bar. Well, I'm looking for the, the things. Looking for the thingy? They're like, not even close. Wait, okay, there we go. Just lift it up and you can move the hub. You know what I'm saying? You got it, you got it. This is taking up like all of our morning now. All our plans are gonna be shot. You, the only plans you have is to go ride around in Holbrook, so we're good. <laughs> I'm supposed to take my horses to the chiropractor today. That means I gotta get the other horses ridden before I leave because once I get to Holbrook to the chiropractor. <laughs> well, it's not like. I'll be there all evening. So how many are you taking? Dibs and Czar, maybe Ghost. Well, you might as well fill the trailer up, cause. Well, then that leaves one space. I only have a four-horse trailer. 
Well, okay, we'll put four in there. So then Vixen. <laughs> or you just take the bigger stock trailer. Then you gotta unload the saddle, pack the saddle in the pickup. The kids are gonna be grumpy on the way home because they gotta sit by the saddle. Mm. Connor has a physical appointment this afternoon too, so we'll be hauling around horses to that. Oh well. Okay, tighten those up. Say la vie. Is that the same? I don't, I don't speak German. That was Navajo. Say la vie is Navajo? <laughs> sounds, sounds German to me. I'm just kidding. Gosh dang it, which one is it? It's the fourth one. <laughs> okay, this one. What the hell? Don't you? <laughs> Try them all. It's the last one. <laughs> we should do a Navajo word of the day. What should, what should the Navajo word of the day be? Is it? Yeah, okay. Is it? <laughs> it's actually English. Oh, is it? <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know. I don't know any Navajo words. <laughs> you lie, too. You know a lot of words. You and Jerry know. More than you think. We only know words. We don't even know how to. You guys, we if, can't even say a sentence. We just know words. Well, if you guys ever come across Henson and Jerry in public and you're speaking Navajo behind their back, they will know what you're talking about. No, we just know a little bit. I've gotta say what "is it" means. Is it is actually <laughs> is it is it? But if you say it in your Resi accent, it's is it. And it means like, really? <laughs> You're laughing about this tire, and this ball, or kind of ball, not even that ball, but it's a Toyo. Look at it, it's a Toyo. That's a good tire. It's like a Toyota truck. One of the best <laughs> trucks in the United States. And the one that was on here was just a cheap Michelin, cheap Chinese tire. Huh. But this Toyo right here, this is a good American. You can drive it till it's showing wire. You can drive it on the wire for probably like a thousand miles. I'm just gonna drive like 55 so I don't blow out any tires. <laughs> okay, how many bales are we getting? I don't know yet. For sure, like the whole stack, so 64, maybe more. See this store right here? We're lucky that we live by this store. They have gas, they have subway, they have uh, Indian Indian village, which means Native, Native American. Is that what they call it, Indian village? Yeah, they do. Native American artisans that sell there in the summer and this place gets packed. It gets crazy busy here in the summertime from everybody traveling on I-40 right here. But I have to say, it is a really cool store. They have books in there, um, like on Native American culture. They have gifts and um, really cool snacks. But we're so lucky we live by a cool store. So Henson's gonna jump on that lift and we're gonna load one of these stacks right here. He'll split it in half and we'll put it on the trailer and we're gonna grab this big bale too. So Henson and I bought six lifts of hay when the winter was starting. And these are our last, our last two squeezes here. We got this hay when it was about 15 or $16 a bale. It's $19 now here in Arizona.
tires look good <laughs> so far. <laughs> Oh, Dan. <laughs> Another Navajo word. <laughs> okay, we are back at the ranch, and guess what? I gotta unhook this trailer. Dang it! <laughs> ah. Easy there, cowboy. Uh. <laughs> okay, here we go. That's how I stay in shape, guys. Are you tired yet? Yes. You need me to help you? No. Almost. Someone's gonna say, yeah, put some grease on that. <laughs> WD 40. Probably should. Almost. But we don't use the trailer enough. Our tire made it home. I told, it's a Toyo. I told you it would. It's a Toyo. That's good. Okay. Why are you breathing hard? Freaking heavy. That's like 60 bales plus a ton bale. Is that a ton bale or a half ton? Yeah, it's like half. Anyways, you want to go? Huh? You want to go? Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> okay i'm gonna hook up this trailer and ride a couple horses before i head to town for the chiropractor and the farrier i forgot i'm meeting the farrier too he's gonna put some new shoes on czar and um pads Way off. <laughs> I can't see anything. Oh. <laughs> that was pretty good. I'm pretty much straight on. Ugh. Just gotta move this. story of my life hooking and unhooking trailers <laughs> it's funny every time we go to like phoenix or somewhere and the kids are like are we gonna be pulling a trailer <laughs> yes that's what we do finally getting around to clean your saddle huh a little bit for the record i threw that saddle on I don't think Henson could lift it yet, but he thinks he can ride, so he's going to go take Easy out today to look for some horses. How long has it been since you wrecked your saddle? Wrecked yourself? <laughs> two weeks? I think it was on Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday? so almost two weeks. Almost two. Finish saddling easy up. Just gonna get 
brand stinking new. Yep. <laughs> I don't know, this mud's pretty stuck in there. It'll come off though. Don't want to get it too clean. I don't want to look ranchy. told Henson he better do a test run before he goes out on the ranch so let's see how this goes see if he can even climb up on there he said he's just gonna walk today promise it might get rowdy <laughs> you better not <laughs> You never know. You might get uh, a little western. That's true, but don't test it. How's it feel? Like it was your first ride in two weeks? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are they? Tight. Easy will take care of you. She's a good girl. hurts me just looking at you. <laughs> no. Wow, look at him go. Okay. I'm gonna ride a couple, head into town, yeah. and Henson's gonna go find those gildings that are somewhere on the ranch. And maybe move some cows, trailer some cows. Maybe, or Jerry will. Okay. We can get in? Mm hmm He's ready for work. You smell good. It's sample perfume from Dillard's. <laughs> Fancy. <laughs> okay, guys, we are all loaded up. Um, I have Czar, Dibs, and Vixen in the trailer. And we're headed to town. I gotta pick up Brooks from school and Connor and then I don't know how this is going to work out, but I have to take Connor to a sports physical appointment while my farrier is working on Czar and while the chiropractor is working on dibs. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to work, but I think I can do it. I guess we'll see you in town. How many other mamas do this? <laughs> Roll up to the <laughs> your kid's school with your rig in tow. <laughs> you think we're taking pictures? <laughs> mm. I'm doing a video, bud. Mm. How was school? Good. Good. Okay, let's go get Connor. And then we're going to the store. And then we're going to the arena. Why the arena? Because I gotta get my horses worked on. What do you think about that? 
but I want to go to the store. Of course. Okay, here we are. Hey, Zar. Um, <laughs> afterward, maybe. Well, actually, I don't even think I have time because I have to take Connor to a physical oh. at 4.30. I hang my, I put my stitch on my backpack. Do you want to see where I put it? Yeah. I'll look at it in just a minute, okay? Okay. Hey. So I want um, the sorrel done for sure. Okay. <laughs> she was in a wreck. Oh gosh. And um, Zar is getting his shoes off. I don't know if we could do him too. When would be the best time? Like just right now when now his is, fronts are yeah. off? Or? Uh, I mean, when it's front. I know, I found it. <laughs> um, let's just go on the back of the trailer okay. facing this direction. I know, buddy, I feel it. Go ahead and pull him back that way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I know it's not comfortable. I get it. I can never make my horses do that. I need to get, I guess I need nails. <laughs> um, well, you can use your, get my pocket knife out. Anything pokey, you know, blunt. Mm -hmm. So like even this side where it's more blunt, mm -hmm. you just gotta push harder. Good boy. Just get okay. him to really pick that belly up and stretch it out. So really he just had that one rib that was like from here to here had him tight, mm -hmm. but it was that one that was twisted that was bothering him. I know, big guy, I know. That was a bit much. You're all right. You need to run away. Same thing on this side, so kind of in the middle here. Ooh. Ooh. Go ahead, go all the way around. Good job. He's really good at that. Most stallions want to drop down on you when you put pressure to make a flip. Huh. Easy, easy, easy. Yeah, because getting up underneath here, they want to kind of protect that so they drop. Mm -hmm. Good boy. Instead of pick their back up like, a, like you're asking them. Uh-uh. Easy. So sometimes when they're tight behind the shoulders, you really want to get that shoulder out and across. He didn't really, and the muscles behind the shoulder are all attached into those ribs. So he didn't show me that he was twisted or out here. 
but just to the nature of the fact that he's butt hot, <coughs> excuse me, butt high, mm -hmm. everything's kind of running downhill. I figured he needed a really good stretch. And so he was afraid to kind of, or not afraid, but not wanting to cross over and really open up his rib cage here. So that's a good stretch to do on him. Hey, 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 you're fine, you're fine. Is he, uh, shoes off so he can go be with mares or? Um, we're just putting new pads in. Oh, gotcha. Dudley guy. Ooh. Yeah, so in the middle of his rib cage, and then just a little tight there, but you know, mm -hmm. needing to stretch. So, okay. Nothing tremendous. Okay. So that's it for him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Chad. He's all yours again. <laughs> No, she seems fine. I just want to make sure everything yeah. is good. Okay. She got a massage last week. Easy, easy. Okay. Remind me how old she is? Six. Oh, okay. She's got such a baby face. I can never remember. <laughs> she looks like she should be four. Mm -hmm. Just a baby face. She's kind of grown some too, though. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's do your neck. I'm gonna come over here so we don't end up on top of Okay. Well, the fact that you guys got to, you know, kind of kick her out and let her just move around, that was probably a good thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, perfect. There we go. Good girl. Good girl. Oh. That's what happens when you do headstands. <laughs> okay, go ahead and hold her right here. Easy, easy. You've not ridden her since, or? Um, just maybe two light rides. Okay. And everything seemed fine in the yeah. saddle? Yeah. yeah. Okay. A little bit right there. She hates that. She'll kick at you. So. Yeah, I remember. Okay. <laughs> Something else to think about. That's why I'm way up here. <laughs> <laughs> Lift your back. There you go. Let me see. There you go. I know, Mama. So she was a skosh tight here, but making her pick up her withers, stretch it out. So just okay. that spot in her neck. Really not terrible, considering they did a cartwheel into a ditch. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah. Yeah, they're resilient. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, we unhooked the trailer and are on our way to the doctor's office to get Connor's sports physical done. He is driving me because he has his learner's permit now, so that's pretty exciting. And we're going to get this done and then go back to get our horses. I just way? left Chad there with, with my horses. Okay, we're back at the arena and Connor is gonna hook up the trailer for me. And Zar is just about done. Alrighty, we're all done with the farrier and the chiropractor and now we got to go pick up Hayden from choir practice and then drive about 45 minutes home take care of the horses and make sure Henson's doing good and <laughs> I don't know um, how his day went I haven't called him to see if um, he's all right maybe I should do that Hey Hayden. Hi. How was choir? Pretty fun. Good. <laughs> Let's go home. It's been a long day. Yep. Okay, 
we got everybody home and unloaded and Kenson had dinner ready for us when we got home so we're feeding now and I bought this protein tub um, in town I'm just gonna dump it right here for the horses Go ahead and pull up. Okay. I guess, I guess that'll do it for our day. I'll see you next time. How do you turn it around? What you got, Lincoln? Huh? Chew toy? Daddy's treasure? Is it yummy? Hmm? Okay, guys, so we unhooked. That was the clinic oh, right there.